Today we're out in the desert with two of my best buddies. One of them is, you know her from a lot of her videos. Joanne Lightheart. And you yours? know me from Outdoor Adventure That's TV. right. We're out here in the middle of the desert. We're going to have uh, some exploring of a number of mines that are up on the hill. We're just going to see what fun we can have and how much trouble we can get into. Ooh, trouble's Ooh. my middle name. And over here I got Christopher, the man of steel. We're going to get into this attic right here because obviously it connects in with the rest of the mines. And we're going to take you along the way. But before I do that, you better smash that like button, boy, or I'm not taking you anywhere. You hear me? I forgot. What was I going to say? So come on. <laughs> Let's go. Look at that. I've not explored any of this. We just did the down to the uh, uh, bottom of the Columbia. Wow. I think I'll drink a six pack with a lighter to see where this goes. Look at these stoles. Oh, look at that little tiny column. <laughs> yeah, it's obvious what the ore was that they were chasing. Beautiful stoles. Wedges. I need that wedge. <laughs> That's what they were hunting. See how weak and fractured that is? Yeah. Ore usually is. <laughs> I mean, this thing is only, what, eight inches thick? I don't think they'll mind if we take it. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's holding up much. <laughs> well, you stand over there while I chip at it. <laughs> Oh, trust me, I'll be on the way out. I love how they've got this timber nailed to that little timber. That'll hold. <laughs> Just put this one across, that'll hold. <laughs> Try more flatter. All right, we're sending Christopher down. He's going to run. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! I want to see that. <laughs> I'll pay dollars to you. <laughs> yes, your radio's working. I can hear you fine. Thank you. Yeah, it goes. Ver it almost goes vertical. All right, let's get on down there. I'm gonna head on down. It smells funny. Oh, that's, is that you, Christopher? <laughs> huh? No. Oh, this isn't bad. You can run down this. Right. What does this look like? It looks like a chute, don't it? <laughs> they wheel over their ore cart, skip cart be down below. And then head on back to the heading. But there's no orb in here. It looks like they dumped directly right into the skip car itself. Now, the sump is buried, obviously, just because it's sloughed off over the years. But that's what that is. Uh -oh. You been eating something? Yeah. <laughs> you look like you got chocolate on your face or something. <laughs> You're going this way, right? Yeah. And they got to this point, and somewhere, somebody said, hey, 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 you guys are going the wrong way, sonny boy. Yeah. You guys need to go this way. See this? Oh, oh that's why they made a quick left. Yeah. See the fault? These are shear zones, micro shears. Man, that's awesome. And these, are, these little lines are called slick insides, where the, these two particular faces were rubbing against each other. So they came through here, which is a cross cut, they intersected this monker, and now they're just kind of dripping along with the tumbleweeds. So why would they have not taken this? Because there's not enough mineralization in it. And then look, it petered out. There's nothing now. This looks like they were tunneling this way, and this looks like they were tunneling this way, just by the way there's a pinch point here, and this is lower than that spot. And they probably connected in. This is probably to a larger mine right here. So let's go take a look. Oh yeah, it is a larger mine. I'm scared. Somebody hold my hand. Oh, that's a grizzly. Look at that monker. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what's that? Oh, check out the manway. And that is the way down to the bottom of the corner. Oh, this is timbered really well. Look at this. Here. But about halfway down, it starts collapsing a little bit. Oh. Right now, when you go to walk over that way, look at that. Right the bottom side over there, it actually lifts. So, um, oh, yeah. Go that's a good oh, looking ladder. Oh, man, that's a long shot. That's a long way down. Holy, and that goes to the bottom of the Columbia? No. What happened, well, this one might. The manway goes down about 100, 150 feet. Right. And then there's an intermediate drift that goes across probably 40, 50 feet. And then there's another manway just like this that goes down another. 
150 or so wow. feet. That doesn't and give you a then, then you're getting close to the bottom. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna go in and take a look real quick. Uh. <laughs> yeah, the ladder's kind of squeaky. Yeah. You... What, what, what? It's, I could just say, you use caution, but I'm talking to Jeff. So oh. You're here, right? I'm like, who are you talking to? <laughs> All right, let's see what's down here, shall we? Oh my, look at that. I think it is. Look at that. <laughs> That's one place is dirty. We are cool. It looks like they, the Columbia had a raise that came up, and then they went across and connected in with the one we just came in. These are fantastic ladders. Look at this. That's a real 2 by 4 too. That's not that Home Depot stuff. Look at that. Three nails on each side. That's MSHA approved. All right, I'm headed up. <clears throat> ah, low ceiling, and I got a backpack. Uh, oh, who cut this incline? There. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. Who needs a gym? Just be a gold miner. A gold mine explorer. Ah. Oh, that's nice. The rungs are spaced differently on this one. It's a leg burner 3000. There's the edges. Oh, that's better. Miss that. Yeah, look at that. Heck mm, yeah. Tasty. Yeah, it's already getting heavy. <laughs> oh, I know. Let me see. Oh, man. Heavy pack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, look at that. I'll get a stand bag out. Mm. We can catch all that. You can chip it away. We got oxidized iron in there. Yum, yum. Jerosite. Oh. I'll yeah. put that in a. Look at these pillars. I'm taking a pillar. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You sure you're Christopher? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you look like a real miner, like that. <laughs> oh, I can see. <laughs> Following Joanne up the side of this mountain. <laughs> How you feeling, Joanne? Not bad. Not bad. All right. Doing pretty good. Few Come on, Christopher. Right, a few aches and pains in the back. <sighs> That's just for being out of shape. Right. <laughs> I thought we were going to go down this way. Look at this baby ore chute. Oh. Wow. Isn't that cool, though? Yep. Oh, shit. I just jumped in the way. <sighs> All right. So, supposedly, this thing goes all the way through the mountain. And we're going to find out where it goes. So... If you want to find out where this goes, you better smash that like button. Smash it real good. All right, stop, Jaw Jack. Come on, Joanne. Let's get on in there. It's it's cold in here and hot out here. My body's starting to go through convulsions. They're probably using it for cold storage at one time. Huh. Uh huh. <laughs> see where all the water's been draining in here? Anytime you see that on the floor, that means water, which means you're probably close to the surface. Which duh, we just came in from outside. <laughs> all right. First 20 feet, always keep an eye on the floor. Okay. In case any critters are sleeping in here. You can see where they trim these timbers right here so that the ore cars could come in through here. See that? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. I got a little slough right here coming down out of the stopes. <clears throat> Isn't that cool? Yeah, but there's no gold in it. Yeah, and they're getting littler by the minute. All right, see all that? See, it's all unconsolidated gravel. It's rounded. It's not sharp and angular. I've got a seam of it running almost vertical. It's in between these two types of conglomerate. So I want you to tell me what this is, all right? Because I know you know, 
So put your thinking caps on, tell me what that is. There's a uh, dynamite magazine, powder storage. You got concrete floors in there, pads. That you've got this vein material right here. Do you see it? This is what they're chasing. Right there. It's the same material that we just saw in the other mines. Same exact material, same structure, has the same mineralization, same composition. And obviously it, it pinches out here, but it swells there. And that's why they stoke the heck out of it. There's a drift right there. And you can see where they have concrete around it. They had that sealed up. That thing runs back about a quarter mile into nothing. And we're on the main haulage at it right here. And you can see where they were stoping the heck out of this body of ore. It's the same ore body we saw in the other mine, same composition. It's got a little bit of copper carbonates in there. And it's got a lot of jerosite. It's got a lot of uh, limonite. It's got some bog iron in there. Ilmenite, it's got a whole bunch of stuff in there that I'd like to take home, but I don't have the time. You imagine this part right here, imagine how much they pulled out here. And this is one out of many, many stopes in this mine. And this is a small stope compared to what's further in. This mine operated back in the, the 40s and 50s. You can see this is where they were getting all the material out of the stope. It's one of the chutes, but then they blocked it off because they were no longer getting ore out of there and they didn't want stuff falling through, so they just blocked it off. Look at the size of these timbers. Plenty of air, plenty of ventilation. It feels so good. More stopes. But as you can see, these have already been plugged and collapsed because they've already got the material out. Got a lot of calcite forming on the walls. See this powder right here? This is very important. First of all, it'll tell you which way the air is blowing. You see, I've got positive airflow going out and that's good. This stuff is really bad on your lungs. You gotta be careful with this. That's why you should be wearing a mask. I should be wearing a mask too, but I'm not. This is dust that's left over from blasting. Every time you blast, a tremendous amount of dust is created from it, from the rock being fractured along the joints and the fissures. So the dust collects. You can see it all. And when you walk through it, you stir it all up and get it in your lungs. You gotta be careful with that. Oh, I'll fix yep, another blocked off chute. These are all ore chutes that are no longer productive, so they, they plug them up, block them off, because eventually they start to collapse. Material sloughs off, falls down. They're still using this, this as a haulage drip, and they don't want it to fill up with material, so they do that. All right, now before I take you down that incline shaft, I wanna show you really something cool that I think you're gonna enjoy. One of the really cool things about this mine is they drove this haulage drip all the way through the mountain, which creates fantastic ventilation. Now, the reason why they did that wasn't just for ventilation, although that does help. The primary reason was is there's a whole bunch of other mines over here on the other side of the ridge that they wanted to connect up so that they could get the ore transported over to that large ore chute an ore bin that you saw at the incline shaft. So they popped out here on the other side of the mountain. They had a huge trestle that went all the way across this, this ravine here, and it connects up with the Grant mine. And I'm not sure the name of these other two mines here. Now those mines, they connect to the War Eagle underground to the both west and east side of the war eagle and the the east side is on the other side of that mountain so that entire mountain has got stopes all through it now they wanted to be able to get the ore from there all the way over here to the to the bin and then into the chute so they figured the easiest way to get ore over here and equipment and men over there was to what blast all the way through build a trestle connect them all up Imagine the amount of labor it took to do this. Huge amount of work. Trestle. And if you look over there, you're gonna see some cribbing for a shaft. And you'll see a little bit of waste rock. That incline shaft goes down and comes up into that right there. And I'm gonna show you that here in a minute. They ran this whole trestle straight across. And I remember coming out here as a kid and seeing most of the trestle here, the middle section had fallen through. 
But now, of course, most of it has fallen down because of weathering and age and wind. A lot of wind coming through here. But that's amazing. Could you imagine pushing a whole series of ore cars through here? Even tramming them, riding across there? Woo-wee! I hope you're not afraid of heights. That's something else. That's a whole lot of engineering right there. So, all right. Well, we're not going over to the Grant Mine today, but I'm going to take you down that incline, and you should be able to look up through those those little shafts over there. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? So come on! My name is Jeff. Let's go! There, you can see the bell. The signal was right there. See it? Yeah, right here. Uh huh. Yeah, and they'd pull on that wow. cable, and it goes all the way across. But you can see the track go up, and then there's a extra set of track on the outside. You see that? And one set of wheels that go up yeah. on that. Yeah, and, and it just it. dumped that thing right down in there, real lickety split. Isn't that cool? But this is what I wanted to show you. This is the winds. So, all right, if that's safe to do, I'll do it. <laughs> These rungs have been worn so much from years and years of usage. Look at that. Unbelievable. Can you imagine the traffic these things have gotten? There's another good example right there. Look at that. Look at this thing. Is that amazing? That's a lot of traffic. And you can see the vein structure they're chasing right there. Right along the wall there. See that? And it has a dip of about maybe 30 degrees right now. There's, there's the same thing. You can see where they stoke and then they backfill. All right. And some, of the, some of these rungs, look at that almost worn all the way through. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that rung. Not much of a rung left. There used to be a station right here. See that? And they came across this way. But look at this. Oh, that's a chamber. Look at that. Oh, ho, 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 ho camera doesn't do it justice but you can see where they had square sets in here holding the whole thing up and all of its collapsed down there but that was all square set at one time is that amazing there's some more of that beautiful ore right up there on the back look at that oh there's some copper carbonates in there this used to be another loading platform right here for this level look at that shear zone in there and look at that miner right there. Or is he a major? <laughs> I don't know if he's a miner or a major. Let's go over there and take a look, see what he's doing. Oh, yeah, see where they were right mining this out? Right look at see. that. And this looks like an ore pass right here. See that? Oh yeah, that's an ore pass down to the next level. Mm, yeah. Oh, look at the pick marks in the wall. Cool looking ore pass, huh? And here's that big shear zone. Wow, and there's Miner, and this used to be a platform right here. This used to be the very bottom, but they kept going, and they kept going for hundreds and hundreds of feet. Isn't that cool? Let's see where this goes. Let's see, oh, look at that. Beautiful looking mineralization. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. I got to sample that. Huge cavity. Oh my gosh. Okay. Right, we'll keep going down. You can see where the steel rope or cable's been burning its way into these timbers right here. So they're hoisting that skip car off. Joanne, what are you doing down there? Just working my way down. <sighs> Looks like it goes vertical. <laughs> it goes pretty steep. Yeah, baby. Wow, look at that. Beautiful ore. Huge timbers. Little ore cart would go from here to here, that's it, here to here. And see where they had the square sets? In here at one time, this whole thing was nothing but square set. Massive. All the copper, incredible. And then the chute was right here for them to pick up. Look at that, just amazing. 
All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, yeah, it's getting mighty steep. Look at those rungs. Ooh, that big hole. Oh, oh, don't want to step on that. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, look at that, dynamite boxes they were using for shims. Looks like a big station right here. Oh man, those rungs have seen better days. <laughs> What's under here? Ooh, more square set. Look at that. I don't think we're going to do it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we'll make it. Look at that. Oh, there's my radio. Just massive timbers everywhere. Look at that. Look. Wow, who's that down there? Is that Joanne? Heads up! Look how little the ladder gets. Heads up! Why would you make a ladder that small? Ooh, look at that shear zone, it's huge! Look at that! Massive! Wahoo! Now that's a stope. That's the longest stole I ever saw. Look at that. Good ore everywhere. Oh my goodness. Let's see what we got over here. Amazing, that's a huge stall. Look at the shear zone. Just amazing. Look at that. And it just keeps on going and going. Look at that. More chambers everywhere. Who's down there? Wow, there's the continuation of that shear zone. You can see the powder is coming from up there. Basically, it's like Swiss cheese. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get down there. I gotta get down there. Ooh, what's over here? Look at that ore. Or not. This whole mountain is honeycombed. Look at that. No. Here. Yep, you're absolutely correct. So, I'm going to continue down. I just needed a short break. I was getting pretty... Pretty you know, winded? Pardon? Are you getting winded? Uh, not winded so much as just heated. Okay. Here, because it comes out. Look how tiny these rungs are. Yeah, they're just the memory of rungs. Look at that. Look at these rungs, Christopher. There's only like an inch and a sure quarter. They're gonna hold me. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but they'll hold me. <laughs> All I'd say is tread lightly. No you more steak dinners is what I'd say. I've seen some of them. It's just like, wow. So what kind of wood would they use back in the day? Did they they make that dinners on it? Yep. Do what? What kind of wood would they use? Uh, these ladders and stuff. Probably. I don't think they want to use hard wood. Uh, from what I read, most of the reports they use Doug Purr. Wow. I mean, sometimes it's what's available, like Ponderosa Pine, but up in Virginia City. But most of the mines use Doug Purr. Some mines use ironwood for the supports because that stuff is oh my god, you can't break it for nothing. Really? That's why they iron call it ironwood. Heads up! Heads up! Baby crabs. <clears throat> oh, test your knees. <clears throat> <laughs> Joanne, what are you doing? Rusting. Oh, ooh, they got ore bins and track everywhere. This oh, is cool. Everywhere. Look yeah, at that. Is, There's an ore cool. bin there. And look at that. They come here and they can just dump right in there directly. And then keep. Oh, I feel fresh air. You feel that? Yeah. Where's it go? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You've been down here for an hour. Ooh, I feel fresh air. I feel fresh air. Where are you coming from? 
Oh, you, ooh. They don't go nowhere. Maybe it does. There's a ladder down there. What's in here? Ding, 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 ding. Woo! Gold Express coming through. Ding, 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 ding. I'm gonna grease the rails up here. Looks like a collapse. You see that? Oh yeah. It looks like they're going this way. But what is that? What is that? Another level. Ding 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 ding. I'd love to ride this one. Look at that. That should be kind of fun. Is that turn? Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, here we are. There's some more graffiti up there. Yeah, yeah you feel the fresh air? Yeah, feels good. Oh, there's that hook. That thing's been there forever. Mine's All right, come on back. Mine's big tired. No, I walk back here, right? Let's see. Now, I want to show you this seam of copper right here. Copper ore. Isn't that beautiful? All those copper carbonates running through there. Ooh. Silicates and carbonates. Oh, wow. Looks like you might even have some malachite in there. You see that? That's beautiful. <laughs> Chrysocola. All right. Feel that fresh air? Mm -hmm. That's because this little guy pops out. All right, we got to close this video because I'm out of battery. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams and Joe Lightheart and Chris Young and my sweetie Foss. Say, do you like gold mines? Well, we do too. Come along with us sometime and you'll get fistfuls of AU. So come on, let's, let's go! go!